In the first three parts of this tutorial, we've created a radio station with music, station IDs, song intros and outros, time calls and voice tracks in a schedule that covers weekdays and weekends. But before we put it to air, maybe we should see if we can get some advertising or sponsorship and add some station promotions and community service announcements to the mix. Now major radio stations and networks use a separate traffic program to schedule advertising and promotions and station playlists can make use of such programs by using the traffic importer in the playlist editor. But for our initial purposes, Creator's own spot groups provides the kind of basic functions necessary to schedule and keep track of the advertising and promotions we want to use. You recall that we use spot groups in part one to put our station IDs into the rotations and we can use the same basic principle to create an advertising schedule. The first thing is to get your advertisers or sponsors on board and produce some spots for them. At the same time, you can create some promotional spots for the station. Once they're complete, we'll put them in folders ready for creator to make use of them in spot groups. We have two advertisers ready to go and we've created two spots for each of them and put them each in their own spot group. The spot group type is commercial and we want to include them in the spot summary. We'll create another spot group for the promos we've made and another for community service announcements. Again, you can further control when any of these spots can air by going to track properties and adding a range of hours, days or dates. For example, this event takes place on the 21st of November, so we give it a finish date of the 20th and it won't play after that. We'll now create a new spot group and call it Spot 1. For Easy FM, we're going to put one of these in each hour between 6am and 6pm, a total of 12 spots, and we're going to add our two advertisers, promos and community service announcements into this spot group, meaning that a spot from each will run three times a day. We do this by going to Add Nest and selecting the four spot groups we have created. Again, select Commercial, Sort Randomly and include in spot summary to enable us to keep a separate record to the music categories when producing the daily log of events. Having created our first advertising spot group, we'll add it to our rotations. In order to have it play in each hour between 6am and 6pm, we'll have to add it to four rotations, hour one, hour two, morning one, and morning two. That was just an example of what you can do with spot groups to add advertising, station promotions and community service announcements to our daily broadcast schedule. We've now changed the contents of four of the rotations, but the schedules themselves remain the same, so we can proceed to create a new playlist for the next day as we did before. Click on Create, then Start, and when it's finished, click on View Edit Playlist to once again record the day's voice tracks and check the content and placement of the commercial breaks. Our new schedule is ready to take advantage of a few of the features of Station Playlist Studio Pro, which we'll use to put it to air.